Hello everybody, welcome to our midweek. We are about to play a game. Final I am midweek. not in charge. Leah is, so she can take it from here. Yeah, final midweek. So we thought we'd do something fun. Thank so, you, Miss Leah. Yeah. This is gonna be a little bit of who knows who in the office better. So oh. I will ask them some questions. They will have to write what the other person's answer should be. Mm. So then you'll flip them. You'll either say if it's right or wrong, tell us what the correct answer is, and then if you get it correct, you get a point on my board. I like points. I'm already at a disadvantage, though, because I already had said that I have a problem listening to people, mm -hmm. so... That, can't, that will affect this game. Yeah. Some of these questions are really hard, mm. Okay. and some of these questions are pretty easy. Somebody in the office should know this because it's something we've talked about. That All doesn't right. mean that I was listening at Enough any point. talk. Are you Let's ready for the right first question? Okay. If I go 0 for 10, do I get a special prize? Wait, how many questions are there? 10. 10? Okay. okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. How many pairs of shoes does the other own? Easy. <laughs> I got it. I told you some would be hard questions. I don't even know how many I own, so how am I supposed to... Oh, well, I got you, Steve. I mean... Roughly? Just, just roughly, how many do they own? I mean, you've only seen Aaron in so many pairs of shoes, okay. so... Yeah. We've seen Steven a lot. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you have? I have more than five. All right. But I think it's funny that we both put five. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Four. <laughs> oh, so you're both wrong. I would We're say both wrong, but I have, I probably have like 10 pairs of shoes. See, does I it like, include sandals? I like to keep it simple. Yeah, you got one pair of shoe. sandals. Is that a? You got one pair of work shoes. You got one pair of athletic shoes, and then you got boots. That's I'm all you need. I'm gonna say we've only seen Aaron in so many pairs of shoes. Mm -hmm. So I was closest. You were closest, so you get half a point. Yeah. Half a point. Okay. Yeah. What was the last movie the other person saw? Hey Steve, what did you watch? Last movie. Movie, last TV show, anything they uh, last TV watched. Show. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Is that correct? No. Well, it's not correct, but I like that we're on the same you thought process. Like, you're going there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, because last night, you know, we were watching the Star Wars, the ninth one. Rise right. of Skywalker? Yeah. When I have hey, so it's close. It was Star Wars. It was so. Star Wars really. Hey, I was watching Star Wars point. with Jenna too. <laughs> what episode? Okay. Uh, Rogue One. <laughs> nice. Okay. And Steve's up to a oh, full man. point and Aaron's got half a That's point. That's funny. What is the other person's favorite coffee shop order? Running out of time. All right. Okay. Soy vanilla latte, two pumps caramel, no whipped cream. <laughs> no soy. It's not even close. Not, no, no soy, not at all. And I put, he doesn't drink coffee. That's not my order. But you don't drink coffee. You don't have a said, coffee shop order. So he said favorite coffee shop order. So then you would have to go like Every coffee smoothie. shop in the world can make hot chocolate. A hot chocolate? That's not a coffee shop order. Yes, it is. But do you not drink coffee? What? That yeah. wasn't the question. But I was right in my coffee answer. Coffee shop order, not what's his favorite Again, coffee Again, I, I think I'm close Soy enough. vanilla latte, two I don't caramel. I don't never no order cream. soy. Never order soy. Do you get two pumps caramel? Okay. No. Yeah, you do. I saw no. you. I don't do two Where pumps. does That's the other more. person want to go on vacation? <laughs> Where specifically? Where do they want to go on vacation? It could be two hours down the road. It could be across the world. Ready? <laughs> okay. Chicago one time a year with the fam. <laughs> <laughs> I put for you, climb Mount Everest. Eh, not really. <laughs> 
That's a bit much. Whatever, man. But you go to Chicago once a year with the I fans. do go to Chicago, but that's not necessarily where I want to go, but that's Tell where that I do kids. go. You hear that, Harper? Uh, point for Aaron. Okay. You're where would you want to go on vacation? Where would you want to go on vacation? Uh, the woods. I know, right? I was no, thinking like mountain no. climbing. And see, he doesn't what have a would specific you be doing spot. In the woods? Camping, not climbing. You want to do any sort of climbing? No way. It would just be an excursion into the woods. An excursion. Okay, I'll so, have to remember that. Excursion into the woods. One Where point would you each go? For question number five. You ready? Oh, probably Hawaii. That's my Same second guess. Hawaii. Yes. I love Hawaii. But I knew for a fact he goes to Chicago. Yeah, that's true. If the other person could have any superpower, what would it be? Mm. Irrelevant. I'm just kidding. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And fly. Teleportation. <laughs> That's a good one. I said fly. Yeah, it's probably right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Aaron, I what think would yours be? It would fly. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. mine. I think mine would probably be fly too. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought of teleportation. Transport. So, same thing. Steve gets a point. On to question number six. How many cylinders does the other person's car have? <laughs> Kids, a cylinder goes in the engine. Yeah, so. I don't know. Which car? Primary vehicle? Yeah, the one he typically drives. You're electric. No, I drive the, well, I drive the Traverse mostly, like when I'm driving. Otherwise, when I'm with everyone, that's the electric. Although I don't even know if I Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flip. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you both, both get a point. The Traverse is six. Steve mm -hmm. is up by one point with three. Aaron has two. Are you ready for question number seven? Seven, all right. Seven, already at number seven. Okay. What cereal does the other person think makes no sense? Time is running low. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Flip. Yep. That's see, I said Cheerios. I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, I know Cheerios are popular with. Yeah, people. but I don't. I don't know. You, that was more of the question that I said, so I didn't know you had an answer to that. No one boys it. No one boys no it. it. No one boys it. What would be your answer? No one buys it. Uh, I would say, what's that one that's really gross? It's not, it's like, there's Fruity Pebbles, there's Cocoa Pebbles, and then there's like... Lucky Charms? Marshmallow Pebbles. It's really uh, bad. See, he doesn't even have an answer. Come on, Leah, you're asking okay. a question that he doesn't have an answer to. You are now tied. Okay. Three points each for That's question good. number eight. Okay. What food does the other person refuse to eat? Snails or soy vanilla <laughs> latte, two pints caramel, no whipped cream. Mm. Both are good options. I said vegetables. Oh, I'll eat Just vegetables. Just vegetables in general. I eat my veggies. <laughs> vegetables in general. Did you eat a snail? Did either of you get it correct? Well, the... If you say yes, you have to eat a snail on camera. <laughs> no, you would be correct. Snails. I got a point. Yeah. Aaron gets a point. He but I've never... But one. to be fair, I've never seen him eat a vegetable. I'll eat a vegetable. You bring one to me, I'll eat it. Okay. No problem. But do you eat vegetables? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just not in your mind. Question number nine. Aaron is up by one point. Okay. Let's go. What is the other person's favorite Christian band? Ah. Uh, band or artist? Favorite of all time or like right now? Right now. Maybe you could say your favorite Christian band or artist is. Ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. And flip. I forgot how to spell it. Tarian. Mm. I would accept that answer. I'd be fine with that. Okay. I put Phil Wickham, man crush, because he's got a buttery <laughs> voice. <laughs> All things. I do. I do recall. 
Aaron saying that not even but two weeks not, ago. I yeah. said he has a good voice. But <laughs> you he's said not it was buttery. <laughs> he did say buttery. He said he had a I buttery said that. Voice. Okay, but I, I make it very vocal. My favorite. So Aaron, is, got, Aaron got it correct. <laughs> Mine. I give it to him. That's fine. Is Mariah McManus. I've said that so many times. I do recall that now. But I mean, we mosaic music. <sighs> I don't know. I think okay. I should get credit for the buttery voice. I was listening at one time. Point. Okay. Last question, question number 10. Okay. Aaron's up by two points, so there's no way of Steve winning. Double this one's worth five. Okay, go ahead. This is probably the easiest question oh, on the board. Well, then I'll get it wrong for sure. Who is more likely to spend more than $50 on an ugly Christmas sweater? Mm. In the office or between the two of us? This is just between the two of you. Right. Oh, well, I guess it could be in the office, yeah. My answer doesn't change. My answer doesn't change. Okay, ready? Flip. Yeah. <laughs> that is easy. That is true. Okay. I, I do love a good ugly sweater. So, we have finished the game. Aaron has six points and Steve has four points. Let's go. So, Way to go, Aaron. Aaron seems to know Steve a little bit better than Steve knows Aaron. That's true. I'm an enigma. I did, uh, but I listened better than I thought because I, I had a few. You got four, right? But I still don't know what would be the one thing that you wouldn't eat. Probably snails. Or like a bug. <laughs> Anything that's on the floor. A bug? That's not food. A bug. It's food. No. That's not Leah's going to eat one, so. It's they, not food. I was at a disadvantage because half of his answers weren't actually answers. He's like, what's the, what's the cereal don't like? Oh, you know, the one with the stuff. That's oh, true. you know. He doesn't even name it. I mean, it. right. That's so true. he can't name it. How am I supposed to? Like, the one with the stuff. So, well, I don't know. Well, it wasn't Cheerios because we talked about it earlier and I thought well, Cheerios true. make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Nice job, guys. Thank you. All right, on to worship. Oh, fruity Cheerios. Those are nasty. Okay. Those are pretty bad. Like fruit foods? No, they're like Cheerios, but fruity. They're really bad. So I was partially right because I put Cheerios. All right, give them half a point. Yeah, so fruity Cheerios for the win. Okay, Stevie finished with four and a half points. Outstanding. Aaron still had six. That's okay. So. I'm moving up on the leaderboard. By the okay. time this recount is done, I'll have seven or eight points. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>
Hey kids, welcome to our last midweek for 2020. And I think we can all agree this is a year that has gone super slow and super fast at the same time. And uh, so we're going to be finishing up here and then we'll be starting something new in January. I don't know exactly what that's going to be or look like because uh, that's uh, over a month from now, probably about two months from now we'll get started, and uh, we'll just have to see where all this is at. So uh, a lot half changes every week. So we'll see in two months where we're at, but we just wanted to do one last lesson that just kind of covers this whole topic and uh, kind of refresh Ephesians one last time. We'll read through the 10 verses that we've kind of been touching on and, and, and talking about for the last eight weeks. And uh, so we'll, we'll start there. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and, and maybe we do something more like this, another Bible study. Uh, you can always uh, send us an email of maybe what you would like to see. But uh, hopefully you'll have an awesome Thanksgiving, great Christmas season. We'll see you on the weekends. Keep watching our other videos that we're posting and we're gonna have some fun. So here, let's get into Ephesians chapter two, starting in verse one. We're gonna just read all the way through verse 10, and then we'll just kind of finish up uh, our thoughts here. So, and you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you previously lived according to the ways of the world, according to the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit now working in the disobedient, we too all live or all previously lived among them in our fleshly desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts. And we were by nature uh, children under wrath as the also the others were. So this is just a great reminder that we are naturally sinners. Like we're born sinners. We want to go and be a sinner. It's easier to do bad things than it is to do good things. And we live the same way. Like even though we have Jesus now and the Holy Spirit now, we lived the same way that the people who don't have Jesus right now lived. And if we walk away from Jesus or we stop spending time in the Bible, we're going to tread back that way as well. And it's just so important to remember that it was Jesus who died for us. That we need Jesus. No matter how old you get, no matter how much money you have, how smart you are, we still need Jesus. Now it goes on to say, but God who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ even though we were dead in trespasses. You are saved by grace. He also raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might display the immeasurable riches of his grace through his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For you are saved by grace through faith and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift. 
not from works, so that no one can boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. So as we go look forward, you know, ultimately we have to look at how we want to live our lives, how we want to live our day to day. You know, and I think the, this, this book of Ephesians and this chapter of Ephesians is so huge because it's just such a great reminder to keep us humble so that we're not prideful, so we don't think that we know better, so we don't think that we can do it on our own. You know, I just love that reminder that we are saved by grace. And if we remember, you know, grace is getting something not that you deserve, but something that you don't deserve. That's what grace is. So we don't deserve heaven. We don't deserve that love, but God gives us to it to us anyway. And he loves us so much. So as we move into this Thanksgiving season and Christmas season where it's so easy for us to become selfish. It's so easy for us to look at what we want what I want for Christmas, my whole list, and you start making lists and we talk about you know, trying to not be selfish, but this is the perfect verse for that. Is that it's God's gift to us. Us going to heaven is God's gift and it's not from our works. So we're not trying to go out and do nice things. It's like, okay, we don't wanna be prideful, we wanna be humble, we wanna look to other people, we want to look to help other people, but why? Why do we want to help other people? Not because that's what's going to get us to heaven or because God's going to be happier with us or love us more if we did do good things, but it's because God created us for that purpose. It says he created us for those good works, which he prepared us ahead of time. And so we talked about this, of how each one of us has spiritual gifts and God's going to give us certain opportunities in our life. And if we just take this day by day by day, what's the opportunity in your life today that God has presented to you that you can do a good work? And not to boast, but to show the same love that Jesus has for you to show that to everybody else. And I think just during this Thanksgiving time, during this Christmas time, as we turn the page, and on the weekends we're going to be starting a Christmas series here in a couple of weeks, but I just really want us to focus on how we can serve God today. And then tomorrow, how can we serve God today? Like that should be our, our thought. That should be how we're moving forward each and every day because if we're truly thankful for what God did for us in sending Jesus to die for our sins because we were evil because we are evil because that's what we want to lean towards like we want to lean towards making fun of people we want to lean towards being mean to our brothers and sisters we want to lean towards not listening to our parents but Jesus' love is what pulls us the other way. And the Bible, being in the Bible, we see how God wants us to live our life. That helps us pull the other way. And realizing that we cannot do it on our own is what helps keep us humble. We can't do it on our own, but also we're not doing it for some grand reward. Because it says it's God's gift. It's not from our works. We're not achieving a higher status by doing better. It's we do better. We try to be better, not because we're going to get something greater, but because that's why God put us here on this earth. And just understanding that, realizing that, is going to help us live day to day. And so... As we close Ephesians and close our, our Bible study, there's no, no workbook left in here because you guys finished that last week. I just want us to really look forward to each day. Look forward to today. 
I know it's very easy to look forward to Thanksgiving, which is only a couple weeks away. Uh, look forward to Christmas, which is only a little more than a month away. But look forward to today. Because God is doing amazing things in each one of our lives every single day. And if we're not careful, if we're looking too far ahead, we're going to miss the blessings that God puts us in our, in our life right now. And even during this whole time of quarantine, there's blessings that are coming out of it. There's things that are happening that are amazing. Yes, there's a lot of junk that's going on too. But ultimately, all these things are working together for God's glory. We might just not see them yet. So let's stay focused on today. Let's stay focused on what God calls us to do. And moving forward, let's stay focused on the Bible so that we know how God wants us to lead our lives. Sound good? Well, I appreciate you guys hanging with us for these eight weeks. I'm going to pray uh, and uh, I look forward to what God has in store for us next. And I hope I see you guys on the weekends. We're starting, we're doing the outdoor kids church and uh, it's, uh, we're having fun out there. So uh, just come join us, check it out. We're doing it as safely as we can. And we wanna see you guys uh, eyes to eyes instead of eyes to camera, or in your case, eyes to TV or eyes to iPad. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this study. We know that uh, we want to do bad. We know we want to sin. But because of your love, you have pulled us out of that life and you help us stay on a good track. We can't stay on that track on our own. We'll want to wander back to that bad track. And so that we just ask you to continue to guide us and help us stay focused on you and what you call us to do. And we don't do it because we want applause or pats on the back. We do it because we want to glorify you and we want people to see you in us. And we thank you for that. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, amen. All right. Thanks again for hanging with us. And we'll see you guys back on the weekends or with the midweeks. We'll be starting back up in January. Have an amazing Thanksgiving, have a great Christmas, and we'll see you then.